Hey YouTube family, G here from AG Metals. Uh, I just wanted to come with you and share with you a couple of uh, recent purchases uh, that we made here at the AG household. The first one that we made was for a bankroll box of half dollars. This is a $500 worth of halves. It's $10 per roll, so it's about 50 rolls of half dollars in bank rolls. Now, I already went through these one roll at a time, searching for silver. Unfortunately, there was no silver in any of these rolls. So then I was forced with a choice. I can either bring these back, uh, trade them back in for dollar bills, deposit them back in my account, or um, I had been talking to uh, my wife, A, about uh, what could be on the horizon. You know, our economy, all the fundamentals look amazing. It looks great. The jobs are up. Uh, however, things aren't quite as rosy as it's portrayed. Uh, there's a reason why the Fed just did an emergency rate cut. If any of you are familiar with fractional reserve banking and the Federal Reserve and their policies to keep economies afloat, um, you know, our dollar really is not tied to anything as far as uh, hard assets go, gold and silver, like it's supposed to be, like it used to be. Uh, the Constitution says that Congress has the authority to coin currency and regulate the value thereof and that it must be in the form of silver and gold legal tender. We've strayed far from that. Uh, there's no more silver in our coins and we all know the dollar is no longer tied to gold. So with that being said, the Fed is infusing a whole ton of cash into banks uh, the reason being, as part of fractional reserve banking, banks have to keep on hand 10% in cash reserves of all the money that they have out in loans. Well, the banks do not have it. They don't have the cash on hand. So the Federal Reserve basically does overnight loans to the banks in order to uh, keep them compliant with the regulations, which is not a good thing if the Fed is having to do this, and they've been having to increasingly do this ever since I believe it was last September. And that's a good indication that the bottom's about to fall out of this whole thing. Now, with our job numbers the way it is, and the trade deals, I think and I hope that it'll be enough to keep this thing afloat you know, the trade deals aren't going to kick in until later on this year, maybe beginning of next year. And I think the Fed will continue to do everything they can to keep the economy afloat, especially during an election year. However, eventually the bottom's going to all fall out of this. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when it's going to happen. So I've been talking to A recently about having some cash reserves, uh, keeping in a drawer somewhere, stick it in a sock, uh, because when the bottom does fall out, there will be a run on the banks. There always is. People are going to flock to the banks, try to withdraw cash. A lot of times the banks won't have the cash, like we just said, they just, they don't have the cash. They're having problems, especially the big banks. You don't want to keep your money in the big banks. Uh, we have a Chase account because it's convenient, but I also have other accounts through uh, a credit union, which I transfer the majority of our funds into. The credit unions might be the only things that survive the financial reset whenever that happens. Not a matter of if, just a matter of when. So I told uh, A that I'd like to keep some cash on hand, and I was going to keep a stack of $20 bills. And I got these has really to make a video and show everyone a half search the rolls searching the rolls for silver i didn't end up finding any silver but then i thought 
much better than having the $20 bills, which are paper, fiat, these Kennedy halves are comprised of copper, which actually has value, much more value than paper. So why not just keep these instead of cash and have these just in case something happens and we need money. These are spendable, they're tradable, they're small enough denomination but large enough denomination to where they're relatively convenient. In fact, I might even get another box of these uh, and search for them, through them for silver and just keep another one of these on, on hand just in case. So with that being said, um, I have been really focusing on paying off all of our debt. Uh, I have a couple credit cards that uh, you know I paid off a truck loan with, and we have another vehicle loan, and I have student loans out. So I'm really concentrating on paying off all of our debt right now so that when the bottom does drop out and we have experienced this reset, that we will be in a prime position and have credit available to be able to capitalize on the reset because one thing about it, when the bottom drops out, if you're prepared and it's very easy to take some simple steps to be prepared for it, you can really capitalize on it and really make a lot of money. So that's what we're hoping that this thing can stretch out long enough to where we can uh, have ourselves in the prime position to be able to capitalize. Now we go to, we spend on the weekends, uh, we go and see our friends up at the local coin store and uh, we often buy from them. Now I haven't been buying from them lately because like I said, I've been focusing on paying off debt. However, I seen these beauties today when we went there and these are absolutely my favorite. If any one of you has seen my video, Stacking Silver for Beginners, these are what I believe personally to be the absolute best thing to stack. And they are Roosevelt Dimes. And he had a few rolls of Roosevelt Dimes, 1964 and before. That one's a 1946. And they're in really good shape. So I went ahead and grabbed these rolls of Roosevelt Dimes. Um so that I can have and add to our collection. Um, you know, it's really hard for me to pass these up because again, they're just, they're perfect in my opinion. They're made of 90% silver. They're small, they're easily divisible. And there's very little silver loss on the Roosevelt dimes uh, when you compare them to older coins or other coins. You get very little silver loss, very little wear on the coins. And uh, I think they're just they're just great to get. You, you pay a very low premium on them. Typically, you pay a much smaller premium than you would, say, buying one gram silver bars and things of that nature. And you can pick these up basically at any coin store. But uh, he gave these to me for 13 times face, which is about standard right now, a little lower than you'll find them online. Uh, we have a really good relationship with our coin dealer. <laughs> we spent a lot of money with them uh, over the last couple years, uh, which is great. I, I joke with him all the time. I, I love that he lets me give him fake money in exchange for real money. I call uh, these Federal Reserve notes or fake money. And this here is real money. There's a 1964. That's the last year. If any of you guys are unfamiliar, 1964 was the last year that quarters, dimes, and halves were made with 90% silver in the United States of America. And these are just the best, absolute. They're, they're easily recognizable anywhere you go. People know. This is a pre-1964 dime, it's 90% silver. And this is going to not only keep its value in the event of a reset, 
it's going to likely gain in value exponentially. Silver is extremely undervalued in my personal opinion. It's probably, in my opinion, not financial advice, the absolute best thing to spend your money on because it is so undervalued. Right now, there's a 1959 on the end. Now, I don't want to unroll these all the way. I'm just going to keep them the way they are. I'm going to transfer one of them over into a plastic tube. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to come here, come to you guys, show you a nice little video, talk about, you know, because we really like to focus on preparedness and um, doing everything we can to uh, communicate to our family and friends, hey, this is what you got to do just to be prepared, just not panicking. Don't panic. As long as you're prepared, you never have to worry about panicking. You don't have to worry about uh, running to the stores at the last minute, fighting the rush to pick up toilet paper and paper products and water and all those other good things, which with this uh, beer flu going around, uh, there are some runs on the stores right now. We're probably going to go shopping a little later today. But I did order us some storable food as well. That's on its way. I got a three-month supply. I'll bring you a video when that arrives. But, yeah, we're doing what we need to do to get prepared for this. We've got some MREs already, a couple weeks' worth of MREs. And we're just anxiously awaiting our three-month storable food supply. So anyways, this is it. You know, these, in my opinion, the best things to grab. 90% silver, Roosevelt dimes. Get yourself, you know, you don't even have to get a whole case of half dollars. I just, you know, I really think that these are a much better alternative than to having cash on hand because they are actually made of a metal that has value. Now, granted, Copper is only $2.50 a pound right now, but that's a lot more expensive than a pound of paper, right? This is always going to have that value attached to it, even if the dollar tanks. And even when the dollar tanks and we experience a financial reset, which I firmly believe is coming, then metals, base metals, especially precious metals, are going to not only retain their value, but exponentially gain value. Gain price, that is. There's a difference between price and value, right? Today's price of silver, in my opinion, does not reflect the value of the silver. Silver is much more valuable than just $17.46, I believe is the current price of an ounce of silver. Again, Best Buy, in my opinion, hands down, the best use of your Fiat Federal Reserve notes is an ounce of silver. And if you can just put one ounce away a week, every ounce saved, every piece saved, every dime, every silver dime, every silver quarter is a step in the right direction. All right. So with that, we're going to wrap this up. I've gone on long enough, almost 14 minutes. And, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys, if you like this content, if you want to learn more, we're going to have some more informative videos coming in the future. Please like this video, comment, let me know, give me some feedback, constructive feedback preferably, um, and share it. Share the video with someone you love. Subscribe to the channel. It's free to you, but it helps us out immensely. And until next time, this is G from AG Metals signing out. Be well and always be prepared.